Thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. Today's workout, we're going to be seated in our chair the entire time. So make sure you have that nice, stable, comfortable chair to use. Have your water close by. And then for our resistance, we're going to be using our long bands. So remember, they come in all different resistance types, light, medium, heavy, then everything in between. So get the one that feels best for you and we'll go ahead and get started. We're ready to get started now. We have the resistance band of our choice. Hopefully you've done a nice quick little warm up, even just walking around your room a few times and we'll go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna start with is front of the body, chest. So that band of yours is gonna go behind the back, finding it equal on both sides, bring it to the upper back, but underneath your underarms, nice and lifted in your chair. Abdominals are pulled in tight. Again, the focus is on chest, front of the body. So exhale as we press those arms out, gently release back in. With our band work, that band really wants to snap back in our movements and we get to work against that, every muscle working. Exhale, extend, gently release. <sighs> nice and lifted, always keeping those abdominals pulled in tight. Protect your lower back. Exhale. Inhale, let's do three more. Three, two, that last one, we're gonna hold our arms out nice and long, open the arms wide, and exhale as we squeeze close. These are our chest flies. Inhale, exhale, squeeze closed. <sighs> Lengthen the arms, always keeping that slight bend in the elbow joint. Don't lock them out, don't put everything into our joints. Exhale, squeeze close from the chest. Breathing, exhale, inhale, three more, three, two, one more. Now bring the hands into the side of the body. We're nice and lifted, those shoulders are relaxed and down. Pressing the hands out to the sides, we exhale as we lengthen out, we gently bring back in. Exhale, inhale. So with the bands, it's tricky because you get to control your own resistance. So make sure you feel that workout. Make sure you feel the muscles working. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, three more. Three, two, one more. Bring the hands back to chest level. We're nice and lifted. Our cross punches are next. So we're gonna extend the right towards the left side. Bring it back into the chest. Now left, press across, extend to the right. Bring it back in. See that slight rotation in the core? Keep the core pulled in tight. Exhale, inhale, extend out. Cross punch right and left. <sighs> exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more each side, three. Three, two more, two, two. One more each side, extend right, in, left, Releasing that band, bring it in front of us, little shake out of those arms and a little shake out of the fingers. Remember, I'm just holding on to it. If you feel more comfortable, you can always wrap it and you don't have to grip onto it so tightly. Or you can always put knots in them and then you'll have that knot to hold on to. Whatever feels most comfortable for you, make sure you're doing that and for that grip. Now we're gonna focus on our upper back with this movement. Relaxing the shoulders, having that band, Lengthen your arms out. Bending at the elbows, exhale as that band comes in towards the body. We open that resistance and we gently release it out. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, pull upper back and release. Again, putting all that focus in what we're working right now, upper back, pull and release. Big opening in the shoulders and chest. Really focus on that posture, exhale. Inhale, three more, three, two, last one, little shake out of those arms. Let's stay with that focus on our upper back. We're gonna take our right hand, I want you to glue it onto your right hip, then lengthen out through your left arm. So the focus right now is gonna be on the left side, that upper back, but we're really gonna get a good range of motion in our shoulder keeping the length in the arm. Exhale as we bring that arm up at a diagonal, gently release it down. 
Sometimes we call this drawing the sword, kind of that movement as we're pulling it out and release, put it back in. Exhale, inhale. Nice and tall, abdominals tight. Don't lose our form as we concentrate. Exhale, inhale, upper back pulls open. Three more, three, two, one more. Now keep your right hand glued to your hip. Now we're gonna bend at our left elbow and relax that shoulder. Focus is our tricep, the back of that left arm now. So we're gonna extend that resistance out, bend and release it in. Extend it out, bend, release in. Feeling the back of your arm, your tricep. Extend out, bend, release. Relax the shoulder, don't make the shoulder do all the work. Exhale, inhale. Three more. Two. Last one, little shake out of those arms. We get to go over to the other side now. So taking that left hand, glue it towards your left hip, keep it there in place, lengthen out through the right arm. Always keeping that slight bend in the elbow joint, focusing on your upper back for this first movement. Length stays in the arm. We exhale as we draw our sword up, gently release it down. Exhale, inhale. Nice and tall, exhale, inhale. Focus on your upper back as you open through the shoulder and chest. Three more, two, last one. Keep your left hand glued to your hip, bending at the right elbow now, relaxing that shoulder down. Exhale as we extend out, gently bend and release in. Exhale, inhale. Lengthen through your tricep, the back of your arm, extend. Release, exhale, inhale. Three more, three, two, last one, release, little shake out of those arms, wiggle the fingers a little bit as we're holding on to that band. Focusing on rotator cuffs next. So we have a little bit of a closer grip on that band, then we glue our elbows into the side of the body, we make sure we're nice and lifted with abdominals tight, pressing those hands out to the side. The elbows stay nice and close and we release that resistance. Exhale, press out, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one, little shake out. One more thing for upper body, then we'll give it a break and let lower body do some work. So we're gonna keep length in our arms for this one. Arms are nice and long, we're nice and lifted. Length staying in those arms, we exhale as we open up that resistance towards the belly or lap, gently release it back up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, pull down, gently release it. Just a couple more breathing, exhale, inhale, three more. Release two more. Last one, exhale, gently release, little shake out. Great time for you to get water because we're gonna go to lower body next. Give the hands a break, grab some water and I'll meet you back here to start lower body. So starting lower body, give the upper body a break after working it so much, the band goes across the lap. So what we're gonna do is bring it around so the ends come back up to the top. You want it nice and tight so we add that resistance. So essentially we've just tied up our legs, we're nice and tall, focusing on outer thighs, hips, and gluteals. Feet stay close together for our first movement, pressing from your outer thighs, the knees open, gently release back in. Exhale, inhale. Again, slow and controlled in both directions. We stay nice and tall. We concentrate, we lose our core. <sighs> nice and lifted, proud. <sighs> exhale, 
exhale, inhale. Three more, three, two, last one. Separating our feet now, open them up just a little bit. Nice and tall, let's march into our legs. Right foot comes up, slow release down, left foot up, slow release. That nice slow march, so we're keeping that pull on the outer thighs, hips, and gluteals the entire time. Abdominals are pulled in, but we're pulling up from our quadriceps, working hip flexors, getting range of motion and strengthening as well. Let's do three more on each side. Three, three, two, one more right, left. We'll keep the feet open, about shoulder distance apart, so we're keeping that pull on outer thighs, hips, gluteals. Lift those heels up, release them. Heels up, release. When we're sitting in the chair, we don't have to focus so much on our balance when we do our standing heel raises. Really focus when you're sitting. Contract the lower part of the leg. The calf muscles contract and release. Strengthening calves, ankles, feet help with our balance. Three more, three. Two, last one, bring our feet a little bit closer together. Nice and lifted, proud, abdominals tight. Alternate opening to the side. So pressing from that right outer thigh, we open nice and big. We gently come back center. Left open big, gently come back center. Outer thigh hip gluteal out, inner thigh groin come back center. Nice, slow and controlled. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, three more, three, two more, two, one more each side, right, together, left, come back to center, nice and lifted, focusing just on our right side, lifting up from that quadricep, we lift that foot up, pause at top, release, try and hover, pull up, pause at top, Release, try and hover. Exhale, inhale. Three more on this side. Three, two, last one, release. Make sure our form is there, posture's nice and good. Let's do left side, lift that foot up, pause at top, release and hover. Exhale, inhale. Lead from that quadricep, pull up, Release, three more, three, two, last one, separate those feet, one more thing, lower body, then we'll give it a break, pull those toes up, release them. So body stays nice and tall, a lot of times we wanna rock with this movement. Try to stay nice and lifted, pull those toes up, in that strengthening of our ankles, our feet, now our shins, the front of our legs, that range of motion is so important with just taking our steps every day. Three, two, last one. Bring the feet nice and close together. Release that band. Stretch the fingers out. Going back to upper body. So taking the band, we're going to place it down onto the ground. We're going to step onto it for our first thing. So down on the ground, again, trying to get it equal on both sides. Then stepping onto it with the ball of the foot so it's not wiggling around underneath those feet. We're nice and lifted. We're gonna do our bicep curls. So bring those elbows, glue them into the side of the body, alternating right and left. We keep the elbow close, right hand comes towards the shoulder, gently release it. Now left, curl up towards the shoulder, release. Breathing nice and tall. Elbow stays nice and close. As soon as that elbow starts to jut forward, we put it into our shoulders. Make the bicep muscle, the front of the arm, do that work. Curling up, releasing. <sighs> Breathing with it. Slow controlled. Hand towards the shoulder. Does not have to reach the shoulder with those resistance bands. Exhale, inhale. Get muscle contraction. Release it gently. Three. Three, two more. One more each side, right and left. Arms down by our side, nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. Length stays in your arms, palms are facing back. It's a small movement. We're gonna press those hands back, 
open shoulders and chest, then release. So press, feel as if you're squeezing your shoulder blades on your upper back. Press back, little pause, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Three more. Three, two, last one. Little shake out of those arms. Alternating our side raises next. Arms by our side, palms are facing in. Relaxing the shoulders, putting that slight bend in your elbow joints. Remember, we're leading from the top of our shoulder, not our hand, not the band, definitely not our elbow joint. So relax, nice and tall, right side out, no higher than shoulder level, gently release it down. Left side, that shoulder leads that resistance behind. Exhale, inhale. Slow control both directions. Don't let the band control you. Breathe with it. Stay nice and lifted. Exhale, inhale. Again, no higher than shoulder level, but even just a little out to the side so you're engaging that shoulder muscle. Exhale, inhale. Let's do three more each side. Three, gently release. Two more, two. Two, one more each side. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Little shake out of those arms. We're gonna step off of our band for a second. Then we're gonna bring our heels down in front of us and put them nice and close together. We'll take our long band, bring it under the arch of those feet because we don't want it slipping off. Once it's there, sit up nice and tall, then holding onto that band nice and tight, Focus on your upper back, nice and lifted. Bring those hands towards your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Pull back, gently release. Three more, three, two, Last one, arms nice and long in front of us, but I want you to bring that band now to the inner part of the legs. Those heels stay glued down to the floor. They're not moving. The outer part of the feet are gonna open in opposite directions. So press those feet open, release. Feet open, release. Opening that resistance. Again, that focus is on our ankle joint strengthening. Open, release, open, release. Exhale, inhale. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one. Gently releasing the band. Bring it back to the lap for a second. Little shake out, another great time to grab water. We only have a couple more things to do. Little more work for our lower body and then some core work. So I'll meet you back here after you grab some water. So welcome back. Let's go ahead and finish up our workout nice and strong. Back to lower body. What we're going to do, we're going to take that resistance band, bring it under the arch of our right foot. Once it's there, lean back in your chair. Remember when we lean back in our chair does not mean we slouch or we lose our core. Nice and proud, abdominals tight. Lock those arms in place because we're doing lower body. So exhale as you extend that leg and resistance out, bend, release it in. Press it out release it in. If you go to a gymnasium and you see that leg press machine where you put your feet on that platform and press out, same work we're getting here with our resistance band. Exhale, inhale. Quadricep gluteals, great movement in that hip joint. Three more, three, two. Our last one, we're gonna extend that right leg nice and long. Toes go up, exhale as you press down through your heel and back of your leg. Inhale, Exhale. Range of motion different for everyone. It can be a small movement closer to the ground, or if you have that range of motion, bigger up, press it down. Three more. Three, 
two. Last one's gonna release all the way down to the ground. We'll gently take it off of the right foot and move over to our left. Under the arch of that left foot, once it's there, lean back in our chair. Lock our arms in place. Focus on lower body. Abdominals pulled in tight. Exhale, press and extend out through your heel. Bend and release. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Arms locked in place. Make the lower body do that work. Extend, release. <sighs> Three more. Three, two. We'll hold that last one out nice and long. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, press down through heel back of the leg. Inhale, <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Pressing through your hamstring, the back of your leg, really getting that great range of motion in that hip joint. Inhale, exhale three more times. Three, two. Last one's gonna release all the way down. Releasing the band out from under the foot and then taking that long band in half. Again, focus is gonna be on core now. So leaning back in your chair, walk those feet a little bit out, right in the center of the belly. Arms are in front of us, relax your shoulders. So just holding on to that band, we're keeping the upper body engaged, but we wanna focus on our abdominal wall for our first movement. We're gonna alternate bringing our feet up. As we sit up nice and tall, we're gonna press that band forward. So it's in front of us, sit up tall, bring your right foot up, extend, release in front of you, release back. Exhale, left up, gently release. If just doing upper body is enough, stay with just upper body. If you wanna add that lower body movement to it, adding that, we're just getting the entire abdominal wall, upper, middle, lower abdominals involved. Three more each side, <sighs> gently back, don't just fall back in the chair, two more, <sighs> one more right, left, exhale, inhale, last one, stay up nice and tall, bring the feet closer in, relax those shoulders down. Little twists side to side now, we're going to have the band in front of us, it's going to go slightly down towards the right. Come up center, slightly down left, center. Slow and controlled. Really keep the abdominals tight. Should not feel any pain or pressure in your lower back when we do these movements. Bands in front of us, gaze right in the center of it. Shoulders are relaxed. Exhale, we bring that band down towards the right. Our core pulls it back up to center. Exhale, down left. Core pulls you back up to center. Exhale. Inhale, it's not momentum. We're not just twisting the body quickly side to side. We want the core to get that work. Remember abdominals, sides of your waist, oblique, lower back and range of motion in our spine we're getting here. Two more each side, breathe. Exhale, inhale. One more each side, exhale, inhale. Back up center, nice and tall. Bring the band close to the body. Relax your shoulders. Lower back is our focus. Inhale your chest forward. Exhale. Nice and tall. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, lower back leads you up tall, part of the core. Length stays in your spine. Abdominals are pulled in. Three more, inhale. Exhale, two more. Last one, inhale, chest forward. Nice and tall, release the arms, little shake out. We are all done with our work today. Make sure you grab some water, nice little cool down, stretch everything out. We worked everything in our body with these resistance bands. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you next time.